Thanks for joining me on this video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content on the channel. And also be sure to follow me on these other social media platforms. Links are in the description below. All right, have and have not fans. Now it is good to hear that there is a group of people who are asking questions about Oscar's death. And this is something that I rip. I, I, I think I said this in a few of uh, a few videos before that I just assumed that the Oscar death was just going to be thrown out of the window like he was swept under the rug and never heard of again like Warlock or Maggie Day. I mean, I'm qu quite surprised that uh, Gia told Candace what was going. I mean, I'm not surprised that she told Candace what was going down. I'm just surprised that um, there are people, I think the police asking questions amongst the uh, hotel goers or workers, people there like, uh, what did you know about this Oscar guy? You know, who is he associated with? Was he seen frequently with one specific person? And Candace came up into the conversation and apparently the cops want to talk to her directly. So, I mean, Candace like, well, it was a suicide though. Well, yeah, I just wanted to let you know they're still looking for you. So despite her trying to get around and wiggle her way around the hotel, I think she's going to have to talk to the cops at some point. And keep in mind, we do know that in an upcoming episode, her and Catherine are going to be talking face to face. And given the fact, as Broderick said, well, there was a suicide and I'm telling you, well, yeah, it's all over the news. And you're one of the biggest shareholders in the hotel itself. Who knows? Maybe the cops will actually um, talk with Catherine when she arrives. I believe in the next episode, Broderick is calling her down to the hotel, not just about the investigation, but to apparently get it on with her, which... We will see soon enough if that's what happens, which we kind of do know will happen. But do you think that Candace gets arrested for um, what's going down with um, Oscar? If he if she does, I don't think it's going to be a full arrest anytime soon because we do know Charles is going to show up in the next couple episodes to see her at the hotel. So I wonder if um, the police talk to Candace, what is she going to say? Like, how is she going to play this off? Because as I did a video about, you know, the whole Derek's fingerprints theory about his fingerprints being left in the kitchen when he made Hannah the tea and when he made Hannah breakfast, that's going to come back and haunt him. Do you think that RK, because remember his um, fingerprints are fresh on the door as well. If I'm not mistaken, just put it this way. Aside from a cleaning crew, but I'm just going to omit a cleaning crew from the entire situation here because we, I doubt they're going to be in the mix. The three people that have opened or touched Oscar's hotel room door since he passed were Oscar himself because remember he was dragging Candace or you know pretty much holding her up because apparently she had too many shots as he told two people walking by um he you know took his key and opened the door and then Candace you know was forcibly sat down and then slapped and whatnot by Oscar then she pushed him out of the window then she got her items came out of the door that's person number two who has touched the door handle closed it and then went back to her room then she had rk write the note who again person number three opened the door went in there left the note and left so i guess you could say in retrospect it's possible that rk and candace will be suspect to the murder uh keep in mind you know if hotel security cameras actually work and are looked at. That's one thing that irks me about this show. Not enough people look at the damn footage. We've seen it a, a couple of times. Like remember back in season three when Veronica tore the hotel apart, the bar going off after David called her a simple bitch. I think before that she threw a glass of water at Maggie and then uh, Landon was like, okay, Land um, okay, Maggie, let's go get you something dry. Remember security cameras, security cameras. And if I'm not mistaken, didn't Maggie or Landon tell David, like, don't worry, we're going to get rid of the hotel security footage? Because remember, this was during the point where, you know, he was about to run for lieutenant governor. So a marital dispute in a bar like that would not be a good look. So I do believe that they said that the hotel footage was taken care of. But in this situation, this isn't about a prostitution ring. This is about a legit death. So. I hope the cops are smart enough to look at hotel footage to check the hallways to see who was the person in the room with um, Oscar because I don't know about outside security footage but they can definitely look at the times at the time in which somebody legitimately fell from a window to the ground 
compared to the time of somebody walking in and or out of Oscar's room, Candace and RK will be the suspects, just like they got the footage of Benny, Jim, and Wyatt going out of the Malone bar. They should be, or going in and out of the Malone bar. They should be able to do the same thing for the Oscar death. Now, I, I don't know if Candace is going down for the death. Um, if Landon and his team will somehow spin the story to get Candace free, that way she's able to become first lady. Keep, let's put it this way. Charles is like, let Benny take the fall so you can become first lady. How do we know that RK won't be the one placed in this situation where he has to take the fall so Candace becomes first lady? Which kind of sucks because RK is the only person in Candace's corner. But remember, if she feels betrayed or if he pisses her off, she's done with him. So imagine in the next episode, it looks like he's going to try to put the moves on her again. And keep in mind, she's literally in not... She's in no mood for this. So imagine if, you know, she gets very, and I hate to just say this phrase like a very mean, <laughs> if she goes off on um, RK and is pissed, I could imagine that, you know, someone like Charles would probably spin the theory that Lan uh, RK was the one that pushed Oscar out of the window because he was jealous of, you know, whatever, or je jealous of Oscar and Candace. I could see that being a story that got spun because again, fingerprints, like she told RK not to touch the paper, but keep in mind, he had to be careful, but touch the paper in order to rip it and whatnot and hold it. So his fingerprints are probably still there. But once again, it depends on the intelligence level of the police investigating the case. That's what I have to say on that. So uh, once again, very interesting that Oscar's death has not been completely forgotten. I'm glad there are people asking about it. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, do you think that somebody will go down for Oscar's death? Uh, do you think it will just be ruled out as a suicide? I feel like this is probably going to be as ridiculous as the Amanda murder, not suicide. Hopefully it's not drawn out for like three seasons. But yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Shout out to Philip Boyd, you know, still doing amazing things what was it the lifetime movie i forgot the name of it but uh what's the name of that movie coming out like the first man the first man on the moon and i think that he's going to be playing like a reporter so isn't that a ryan gosling movie i believe so but yeah great work philip boy keep doing your thing uh follow him on social media guys awesome dude to talk to and i'll talk to you all later